if you're new here, welcome to the channel. If you're already sub if you're already been watching my videos before, welcome back to the channel. And on this video today, I'm gonna be talking about a YouTuber who claimed that Redneck Pudding stole his video idea. Gaming Viper uploaded a video titled Calling Out Retnik Pudding. Very serious. In fact, this video is so serious that it has about 150 dislikes. So, yeah, let's take a look. about, you know, pretty popular YouTube channel, Redneck Pudding, right here. Um, they have about almost 500,000 subscribers. So, you know, pretty popular channel. Um, but we, we do have a problem with them. Uh, I am a pretty big fan of them. I didn't know who they are. This is how I forgot, forgot the problem. I do have some of their merch right here. Got this pudding shirt. It's pretty nice. So, yeah, I am a fan of them. And, this, and I started realizing uh, the thing that's been happening with them and I just wanted to bring attention to it because you know yeah they just been bullying us so basically first uh they've been copying our video ideas that we've been posting on how have they been bullying you on our channel and basically doing it on their channel and no one really knows this because we're just a small YouTube channel trying to grow and they're you know pretty big now so um so I'm just gonna, you know, I've been, here are just three of the big, big videos that, um, that they've stolen ideas from us or copied from us. Uh, the first one is a stalker video. I have them right here on the screen so you can see that both YouTubers posted it. Uh, you know, we posted a stalker video. It's definitely legit. You should really check it out. Now leave Definitely legit, huh? Let's see. Okay, so... I've pinned all of these tabs ahead of time, and uh, the Retnik Pudding upload from, like, two years ago, titled We Have a Stalker, was uploaded on, on October 8th, 2018. And this video here from Gaming Viper is uploaded two years ago as well. Title Kid Has a Stalker. And it was uploaded on October 9th, 2018. The day after Rednick Pudding uploaded this video. Also, while you're at that, but yeah, uh, and also they have their they have their own soccer video that I'll put up right next to the other one. So yeah, basically that's just one of the ideas or videos that they copied. There's a few more that I want to show you guys. Uh, another one is um, here we go right here, uh, lifting video. We both post the lifting video. Uh, clearly mine's better and shows you how to get more ribs, so you should definitely watch mine. Um, yeah, basically they copy this idea too. Same. Really, they copied that idea as well. Mm. Okay, so this is a video called Kid Trying to Lift Gun Bad Must Watch from Retnick Pudding themselves. And it was uploaded on July 8th, 2017. Then this video from Gaming Viper himself uploaded a video titled Kit Trying to Lift Gun Bad, which was uploaded on September 18th, 2018. And that video was uploaded right after 
this video. From three years ago. Say this is both up here. Another one is um, Kid Raging while playing Fortnite. Uh, that's another one. Here, here's both of them right on the screen there. Uh, you can see that both of them, that they basically copied us there again. And, you know, we're just a small YouTube channel trying to grow, so. Uh, so. Hmm. So, in any case, that video was uploaded on October 5th, 2018. Called Kid Addicted to Fortnite from Gaming Viper 22. But this video, which doesn't even have the same title from Ret from Retnik Pudding, is called Kid Cries because he can't play Fortnite, which was uploaded on July 5th, 2018. Which is about at least three, three, maybe four months after, maybe three to four months before this video. Let's see, July, August, September. October, no, uh, three months. It was three months. Three months and approximately three days. Fretnik Ponin uploaded this video right before he did. Continuing on with that, um, we've tried to reach out to them about this problem. My assistant slash cameraman, London USC, has reached them on Instagram, DM them, um, basically trying to get in contact with them. So, so Redneck Pudding, if you're watching this, please respond to him and you know they get taken care of, or we can just talk about this situation. Um, and other, I mean, another way to get in contact with them would be with you guys to tell them to watch this video. I will leave. I will leave um, their channel down in the description so you can see the videos that they've copied from us if you want to. And also, I want you guys just to share this video and try to get um, them to see it just so we can resolve this problem, okay? So you can DM them, whatever they have, you know, DM Ian, Gabe, Sean, all of them. I want I want them to see these videos so they, so they can reach out to us and we've already reached out to them. You know, it just fixes problems because you know we're just a little YouTube channel trying to grow, and they're pretty big. And you know, I just really want to talk the situation now. Um, so yeah, these Boy Scouts. Yeah, how's that actually going for you? I'm genuinely serious here. How is that actually going for you? Because whatever you're saying right now I think you just say that because you're doing this for clout. And by the looks of every upload that I ever seen to YouTube, it looks like you're not really telling the truth, mister. I mean, this guy is like, oh, sh like, yeah, they have st st stolen my content ideas. 
and I just wanted to get this sorted out. Yeah, sure. They have stolen your content ideas. And, and sure, they have copied you. Sure, right. They have copied you. Even though they were the first to upload their content that you decided to take these ideas from their videos and make them your own. You took their ideas and you implanted that onto your channel. So in any case, they didn't actually steal your ideas. You stole theirs and you got it from them. And that's why you fat ass deserved 150 dislikes. I know how truthful you can be right now because you uploaded a very serious video when in fact is no longer serious. It's no longer serious because you made these false claims and false troops to get clout and that's exactly what you did when you now have about 2,700 views, which will probably happen in a matter of uh, hours or weeks from now. If you're trying to be a small YouTuber who makes good content, And if you have at least 322 subscribers, the least you can obviously do at this point in time is to upload consistently. And the fact that you haven't uploaded consistently is kind of, you know, lazy on your part. Because all you wanted was clout and views when your channel isn't barely popping off right now. I know how long have you been making making content since, but since we are in a pandemic, after all, you could have at least do a daily grind. You could have at least done that. Instead of making a video one year ago, calling out Redneck Pudding, after the fact that you copied them for the past three years, nearly four years. The next time you wanna like really do good content, the best thing you could not do is make a very serious quote-unquote video by making false claims and lies. I know how. I know how you can try to call them out when you haven't like, put in more work 
into making your content. I mean, sure, you get about 100 views. Like, every time now. For the most part, you get about 100 views. And this is the only video that you got blown up from. But that doesn't mean that your channel is rapidly growing. Because you have been lazy. As of one month ago, titled Kid Finds Pennywise Gun Roll, which you uploaded to YouTube one month ago, after you took a break from, I would say, six months ago. I would say that, I would say six months ago, and then you uploaded a video just about a month later, after your last upload from nearly six months ago. And the fact that you're trying to, you know, cancel Redneck Pudding like that is very disingenuous on you because you don't have a very good strategy of trying to avoid making uh, lies unless you're just doing this as an entertainment value, I would have understand that this was a skit and not an actual very serious video. But if you're actually trying to call them out, which you are, which you are uh, apparently, according to the dislikes you're getting now, currently at 150, thanks to me, then, you know, it's best that you, kid, uh, Try to not, you know, make a scene which you already have and you failed. Look, I know it's harder these days to get an amount of uh, subscribers and all that shit, but... You don't need to make a stupid video like this, which is totally clickbaity in my in my eyes, to grab the people's attention in order to believe you into falsifying falsifying to cancel Redneck Pudding, and I happen to pretty much like Redneck Pudding. And since you're a self-proclaimed fan of Redneck Pony, you wouldn't really want to call them out, would you? Because if you call them out, then you're not really a fan, and you're just some guy who actually got the ideas from Redneck Pony. And again, that's what he did. He got the ideas from Redneck Pony themselves. They didn't steal it from you. You got it from them. Next time, kid, if you really want to grow your YouTube channel, which good luck to you in your next future, then don't do it by trying to make stupid videos like this but right now it doesn't look like you're actually popping off so that is good for me at least just stay out of trouble badass just stay out of trouble